everybody. Good Saturday morning, afternoon. Tire Metal at Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well. So quick re weekend rundown here, basically. And then on top of that, we have the severe weather threat we've been talking about. It downsides the area again. I do still think that there's going to be some stronger storms that will fire over here in this marginal risk region. But the most of the activity looks like it's definitely going to be focusing more so to the south. Still not too sure. I'm still a little bit uncertain on this little area over here towards Savannah and Charleston. I do think that that could potentially be a point of interest. I mean, not everything really comes together there, but it wouldn't be surprising if I saw a severe thunderstorm warning or two from that region today. But main threat for today's slight risk is going to be tornadoes and wind. Outside of that, not really a whole lot going on here. Towards the low, there might be a chance at maybe some severe hail, but nothing really going from that point. And then after that, as far as the severe weather threat goes, as we head through the rest of the weekend, nothing to really be concerned with here. Showers and the storms will be moving out as we go through most of Sunday here. Towards Florida, we could see a few showers and storms, more so I would think earlier in the day. Towards the back half of the day, it should calm down. There will be a cool down that comes with this as well, but it will not be a long lasting or anything extreme. As far as the flood threat is concerned, this is the, probably one of the few times I've ever seen the map look like this, where there's no slight risk area within the green. It's just a yellow area all alone by itself. And like I said, the uh, valleys of the Appalachians was going to be the point of interest, especially towards the Blue Ridge region here. So be on the lookout for uh, excessive rainfall towards this region. There's about close to 2 million. There's about a little over 1 million people in fact affected by this it looks like. So like I said just definitely be on guard especially in those little valleys here. Just be uh, leery of flood prone areas at this point. So we go through the following day things are calm at this point now. Probability of rainfall exceeding flash flood guidance is less than 5%. It's not even a marginal risk though. Some good news to be had there. So let's go ahead now and take a look at what the storm pattern is going to look like with this system for today. Load kind of deepens, but there's really no cold air to go with it at this point here. I think by the time we go towards tomorrow, we kind of shift more so towards a wintry threat towards the far northeast here. And even then, there's not a whole lot of cold air available with this. So really, it's going to depend on how the cold air and the moisture mixes. And really, I think this will be more prevalent towards Monday, I would think. Monday morning like early Monday morning. But just as quickly as that gets going, the storm system is probably going to be out of here. So this is going to limit the amount of snowfall that we even end up seeing towards this region. Most of it will probably also be wet snow. So another quick look at the severe weather setup here, looking at the low level jet here. It's about a thousand feet above our heads here that we're looking at at this point. And our point of interest is here. So there's a couple little areas that I'm interested in, mainly towards this region here in these little small little cracks right here within the line. But even then, like I said, not really a whole lot going here. I really don't expect to see too, too much in the way of severe weather. You might get a couple of severe warnings, maybe a tornado is possible, some damaging wind gusts, but not really anything unbelievably crazy here. And I think as we go throughout the day, that threat is only going to diminish. I think we're only going to have about one round of severe weather as opposed to two. Forecast has just really changed a lot over the last 72 hours with this setup here. Things have kind of became a little bit more unfavorable for this. So pretty much we know the drill after this point. This moves out and then we start to see a little bit of remnant wind left over as we go through the early part of Monday. But that too will eventually diminish. That cold air from the north, though, is going to make it feel a lot colder as we start out the, the week for next week. So here's the temperatures to go along with that. And of course, with that front coming in out ahead of it, there's there are these little pockets of warm air right here. Like I said, I'm still kind of uh, side eyeing this area right here over towards Savannah. Maybe there could be a couple severe storms again. Temperatures are warm enough. I just don't think the kinematics are really going to allow for it. Kinematics being the uh, the uh, w upper level winds and also the lower level winds even at this point. Just nothing really concrete. But like I said, I do think a marginal risk there is warranted at the very least. Do I expect anything beyond that? Really no. But like I said, I wouldn't be surprised to see a couple damaging wind gusts from there. I'm, I want to rule out a tornado at this point, but... You know, it's the weather. Anything can happen with that. But as that front moves out, here comes that cold air once again. Nothing like what we had before, but still, 
you're going to feel a little bit of a difference as we head from Sunday into Monday. No one's in the uh, below zero temperatures, which is really good for the entire country as a whole here. And we are seeing some warming out west. Eventually, that ridging is going to move to the east here as we go through the week next week. And this will end up uh, bringing these temperatures back up over here towards the east. So next thing to look at here will be our precipitation type here. And we'll just kind of keep rolling from that point. Here's our current storm system. It might be our troublemaker for severe weather. We may not even see much of anything from it either. But here's that storm system starting to come in. Running into some of that cold air. Could see some light some uh, light snow showers maybe some moderate snow showers here and then towards the end of this we finally get into some of that really thick cold air here and a little bit of moisture is left over here so we could see a good little burst of snow before this rolls on out of here so that's pretty much the story for this weekend really it's not going to be this isn't going to be one of those long form videos like i normally would do if there's a lot going on this is looking like a really quiet type of system here but for some of these areas if we can get a long enough duration of snow here we could get some decent totals here we could see easily up to four inches maybe six inches some of these areas i feel like are a little bit aggroed here maybe about eight to ten inches here I'm not sure if i'm buying that it's, but um it's what the h triple r is showing us icon's pretty aggressive as well and then the nam is as well a lot of these models are kind of showing a lot of aggression here british model is seeming a little bit more agreeable to me in this case i just don't really think that we're going to have enough moisture and cold air interaction to get that level of snow and then on top of that to get this kind of snow with the temperatures being right at freezing usually that wet snow just doesn't really accumulate in the same manner as that uh that colder more drier type of snow texture but We'll have to see how this plays out here, obviously. So this is what the Euro and the Canadian are showing us. Like I said, these look like they're a little bit more agreeable, in my personal opinion. And also the GFS. So I'm, I'm kind of uh, perplexed and also cur and interested also in seeing, uh, noticing this little difference here between the global models and also the uh, convective models like the HRRR being more aggressive and some of the uh, shorter range models. But if we go over to the blend of models, we're seeing a lot more agreement with those global models, too. There could be a couple of pockets here where we could see up to about six inches of snow, but the general consensus is looking like, well, two to four inches here. And then one other thing to look at here is also going to be the rainfall that we have ahead. So we'll just go ahead and sneak over to there. And then also do a little bit of model comparison as well. So HRRR, for the most part, we're the general consensus across most of these areas here is going to be one to two inches of rain. Some higher totals over here towards the uh, Ozarks here heading into the uh, Ohio Valley where we could see maybe close to two inches. Really, I think the big winner is going to be right along the spine of the Blue Ridge and the Appalachians here. I think that we will end up seeing maybe a couple spots get up to about two, maybe even two and a half inches here. So if we go across the board on the models here, uh, they're pretty much in agreement for the most part. There's a couple of them that are a little bit more aggressive. NAM 3 kilometer shows a little pocket here where we could see up to about three inches. The blend of models here, which is one of my favorites here, it's also a blend of all the models combined, convince, uh, uh, hence the name, but you can pretty much see general consensus about one at maximum, maybe two inches here still more than sufficient enough for maybe some flash flooding so still have to be extra watchful here along the spine of the blue ridge and the apps here outside of that not really too much to worry about there across the board but this is pretty much a rundown of what we're going to be expecting this weekend here hope you guys enjoyed if you did you know what to do smash that like button if you're new around here seeing the channel for the first time or if you're coming back for the first time and you haven't subscribed yet definitely do so definitely consider you doing hope you consider doing so but that being said here hope you guys enjoyed found it useful and i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care and have a good weekend some tired metalhead weatherman signing off for now